So I got a new toy today in the mail. It's a GoPro Hero 7 Black. It's funny, I actually haven't bought a new GoPro since I think like the Hero 3 or the Hero 3 Plus or something like that, but this thing's pretty cool. It does 4K video, 60 frames a second. I think it does 1080p at like 240 frames a second. So pretty cool slow-mo on it. I bought it more for one, we got new mountain bikes. So I wanted to like mount it and get some cool footage. But then also I wanted like a smaller compact camera that we could take into thrift stores and take to garage sales. Instead of carrying this gigantic camera around, it's a lot easier to carry this little camera. So I'm excited about it. And I actually already went and tested it out. I went to a Goodwill earlier and just shopped around a little bit. I don't usually go to Goodwills on the weekend because most of the time, like all of the inventory is gone because a lot of people who work during the week go to Goodwill on the weekends and like clean out the inventory. And I also went kind of later in the day. So I was at the Goodwill from around, I think like 4.45 till they closed, which they closed at 5.30 today. It's Sunday for me, by the way. So I took my new GoPro to the thrift store and I looked around and I did find a few things. I bought four items. Some stuff was good, but I ended up putting it back and just buying four things total. But I wanted to make this video because I noticed something kind of interesting when I went to the Goodwill today. They finally, for us anyway, in Florida, are starting to put out winter stuff. And not just winter stuff, but they actually have a section dedicated to Christmas sweaters, which I thought was interesting. I know that they've done Halloween stuff in the past, like they always put their costumes and Halloween related stuff out there, but I haven't, at least at our Goodwills, I haven't seen like a Christmas sweater dedicated section before. So I thought that was pretty cool and I ended up going through that section just to see if I could find anything cool because now is the time to list Christmas sweaters, especially if you can find those ugly Christmas sweaters now is the time to list those and they do actually sell pretty well. So I found a couple Christmas sweaters at that Goodwill, but I only ended up buying this one for two reasons. One, the size, it's a size 2XL, or actually really for three reasons. One is the size, it's a size 2XL, which is a good size. Um, the second reason would be the brand. The brand is Tipsy Elves, which this is a brand that was on that Shark Tank show. So they were like probably the most well-known ugly Christmas sweater company out there right now. So the size is good, the brand is good, and then the graphic on the sweater is just kind of funny. So it's like Santa Claus peeing in the snow writing Merry Christmas. <laughs> Obviously it may not be the kind of sweater that everybody wants to buy, but there is definitely a market for these funny Christmas sweaters. People are looking for these right now because as we go into the holiday season, People are gonna be having ugly Christmas sweater parties and people will be buying these. So looking at the comps on this sweater in particular, the only one listed that's the same style, same size, is listed for $35 plus I think $13 shipping. And we paid $5 for this sweater. So more than likely what I'll do is list this one for, I would say around $45 or best offer with free shipping. This is something that we can roll up and ship in a padded flat rate or just in one of those like regular flat rate mailing envelopes. So it'll cost us like six or $7 to ship this out, but the profit is definitely there. We'll sell it for around, I would say we should get around 40 to $45 for this item. And again, we only paid five bucks for it. So Christmas sweaters, good thing to start buying. And then I also picked up this size 2XL Chase Authentics NASCAR t-shirt. We do well with these like bigger sizes, good condition NASCAR shirts. That's the front of the shirt. And that is the back of the shirt. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I looked it up and I think number nine is Casey Kane. Not a huge NASCAR fan, but I do believe that's whose shirt it is. I ended up paying $2.98 for it. I don't think it'll be a huge seller. I just, again, picked it up because the graphics are good and it's in very, very good condition. So if we get like $18, $20 for this t-shirt, I'll be happy with that. Not a huge money maker, but sometimes you just buy what you think is good. So. That's what I bought. Okay, back to winter wear. We're selling a ton of jackets and coats as expected this time of the year. You should be selling or at least listing a lot of your like winter wear. Sometimes we'll buy in bulk like jackets and stuff during the summer and then we will list them during the winter because we can get more money for them and they do sell faster for us during the winter. So this jacket is an Abercrombie and Fitch and the model number of it is Elk Lake jacket and it's a size medium. It is a very like heavy, heavy jacket. 
and I believe it feels like it feels like it's wool. Yeah, so this one is 52% wool. So not 100% wool, but it's still a very decent jacket and it's in good condition. These like heavier Abercrombie and Fitch jackets do sell very well for us. We actually just sold one recently that's not the exact same model. I think it was called like an Adirondack Abercrombie and Fitch jacket, but that one sold for $80. And this one, from what I can tell from the listing, should sell for around the same. We'll probably list it for around $80, $90 and we'll probably get around 80 bucks for it. And I paid $7 for this jacket. Now I know the question is gonna come up, how much is this gonna cost to ship because it's big Big and heavy this will more than likely cost us around depending on where it's going it'll cost us around like 10 to 15 dollars to ship it again all depending on where it's going we're in Florida if it ends up going to California we're probably gonna pay that higher amount around 15 dollars but if it stays in Florida for example we'll probably only pay like eight bucks to ship it so we should end up with some pretty decent profits on that jacket as well and then last but not least I found these brand new with tags floor chimes. Now when you find shoes with tags on them, it is important just to make sure to check through them to see if they are actually new because if there's something wrong with them, then you would want to list them as new with defects or if there's like marks on the bottom of the shoe, on the soles, if they look like they've been worn, obviously you don't want to list them as new. These ones are actually in brand new condition. There's nothing wrong with these shoes at all which is pretty cool. I'm excited about that. And I paid $12 and 96 cents. So I paid $13 for these floor shimes. Retail on them is over a hundred. So there's sales on these brand new for like $105. The style name of these shoes is called Lexington wingtip. And conservatively, I would say we should be able to get around 95 to a hundred dollars for these shoes. And again, to ship these out probably in like a USPS priority mail shoe box, it'll cost us around 12 to 16, 18 dollars to ship these. So my quick little trip into the Goodwill to test out my new GoPro was a success. I ended up spending $30 at that Goodwill on everything that I showed you. And at the end of the day, our gross amount, so before shipping costs and fees and all of our other expenses, we should make around $240. So $30 into $240, net amount on that, probably like 140 bucks. So it was a pretty decent day. And again, guys, don't forget to look out for winter stuff. Tis the season, now is the time to list it. Get those ugly Christmas sweaters listed, get those nice heavy winter coats listed so that they sell and you get them out the door. Don't miss out on this season. This is the time that you wanna list those items. And that is my time, guys. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. Make sure if you like this video, if you found any useful information in it, please hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. We put out lots and lots of videos just like this where you can learn like brands and prices on different items that you can resell online. So thank you again, guys and girls for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Peace out guys, bye.